Hey everybody, welcome to CS540, week 3 in Firm Search. If you're new here, welcome. Um, be sure to check nannyblog.com. There are also some other projects and articles I believe um, you can absolutely learn something. So just click this picture here, um, then you can come to this page. So in the last week, um, we talked about the uninformed search, um, which includes four different search methods, BFS, DFS, um, uniform cost search, and iterative deep learning search. And in this week, uh, we're going to talk uh, another kind of search method, uh, that's informed search. Um, and it also includes um, four different search methods. One is greedy best for search, um, and A search, A star search, and IDA star search. IDA is just an iterative deep learning search method. So let's take a look to um, the difference between these two search methods and um, all these kind of um, search methods under informed search. So the main difference between um, informed search and uninformed search is how does it think about um, the future state. So for example, we have a start node here, and here is our uh, node S, and we are going to go to our go state. And let's assume the edge cost um, from start to S is GS, and we have a heuristic uh, estimation. Um, that is how many edge costs are we going to spend from uh, node S to node go. Um, please be attention here that the BFS and DFS and IDA um, iterative deep learning search sorry are actually the unit uh, the cost the edge cost actually just unit one so um, it really doesn't matter but for un, uh, uniform cost search uh, you actually want to optimize um, the edge cost here so for uniform cost search it doesn't pay attention like it doesn't care on what is the address, which is heuristic a number here. Um, it only cares what is the current state here, that is GS. Sorry, the current, um, the cost edge needed from start to node S. So here, um, for uninformed search, it only cares this one. However, for informed search, it cares, uh, absolutely cares address and it might or might not care about GS. So um, let's first talk about um, the best the best first greedy search, or you could say greedy best first search. So for greedy best first search, um, you can learn from the words, it's really, really greedy. So it doesn't um, care about the GS, that is um, the cost, um, the cost that from the start state to our um, node S, and here uh, there's no S, that is just the next state. So, first we're going to start from A, and A that um, it can go either to B or C. And B here, the cost, uh, the heuristic is 2, so here is 2, and C here is 1, so here is 1. So it only cares about a heuristic number here, and it will just go to the smaller one that is uh, C. So from uh, the node visited is A to C, and C also got G, and G here the heuristic is zero. Um, and one thing here, right now the heuristic value I just we just assume that um, can be anything. So um, it's just random number. So here you can see the the path is from a to c to g um however if you see the cost from a to c is actually um near 999 um and if you go from a to b to c to g the cost is on a three however from a to c to g is 1000 um and hence we can conclude that um even though greedy best first search you can reach to the go, but it may not be optimum. And um, the reason probably here we might think about is we only care about the heuristic value that, that is edge else. Um, and we didn't think about the cost, um, the cost, the edge cost, which is GS. So uh, next method is a method um, that we th think about 
both the GS and HS value. So um, here our first node is A and it has two nodes, one is B, the other is C. So here, um, instead of just um, taking the heuristic number, um, here we will add the cost as well. So here is one plus two, one is the cost and two is the heuristic number. Um, C here is 999 nine, nine plus one. And we can see um, B is, um, the, the FS here is much smaller. So um, B we just go next. So first we A, then we choose B. Then C here is, here is a one and here's another one. So the cost uh, that you need from node, uh, starting node A to node C, the FC is actually two, and plus the heuristic number, that is one. And three here, that is two plus one, is still smaller than 1,000 here. So we just go to C here. And C, the next node is G, and uh, the cost here is one plus one plus, pl plus one, that is three, and minus heuristic, that is zero. So we just go to G and we find the go state, sorry, go node, and bingo. So it seems working um, in this case, but how about we change another case? I just made one change. That is, I change um, the heuristic of B um, to 1000. Um, previously, it's two. So let's take a look to the algorithm, uh, the procedure using a search method. So um, first, we are still starting from A. And here is the visiting node. Um, A has two nodes on uh, children, or you could say uh, one is B, the other is C. And B here is actually use one plus 1,000. And C here is uh, 999 plus one. And we see C here, um, the H S, the H C, sorry, the F C is actually 1,000, but the F B is 1,001, so C is smaller than we just go to C. C is not a go node. Um, we just go further, and here is G. Then G is the cost is three. Sorry, um, the G is from 99 plus one. Um, that is that is uh, 1,000, and plus zero. Since you are coming from no C, so you're not coming from uh, from A to B to C, but from A to C to G directly. So here, um, the cost is 1000, that is 99 plus one. However, we see that the goal state, um, A, it is just 1000, which is still smaller than the B1001, so we just go to G. So our path here changes back again, that is from A to C to G. However, if we add all these costs together, the edge cost, that is 99 plus 1, which is 1000. But again, if we go from A to B to C then to G, then the cost is a 3. So A search is, can still um, reach the go node, but it may not, still may not optimal the choice. So this is why we introduce a star search to um, make sure that it can not only go to the go state, but also um, it is also optimal. So let's take a look to a star search. As for a star search, I will just talk um, the algorithm in this graph, which is in our PowerPoint as well. So a star search, um, different with the other, the a search and b, um, the greedy um, best for search, is the heuristic cost, the heuristic um, value, that is, for example, um, here, it cannot be greater, which is which means it can only be smaller or equal to the cost that from the current node to the go state. So for example, here the F equals the eight. However, uh, we could see that manually, I mean, um, the smallest uh, cost that is from S to G is from S to B to G, that is five plus four equals to nine. And um, so edge must be smaller or equal to that value. So edge can be nine, can be eight, can be uh, smaller any number than nine. However, it must be, um, cannot be negative, which is must be greater or equal than zero. So here is a special case. Um, edge 
if the gel state actually is zero and why it is is zero. Since for gel state um, is already the gel state, so the cost that um, the current node, which is G here, needed to reach the gel state is just zero since it's just the gel state. And at, uh, so the arch should be smaller or equal to zero. And since the arch cannot be negative, so arch is just zero. So this is a special case for um, the all gel states. And here, why um, this node who connect, didn't connect to um, any other children, has no children, the heuristic is, if, is affinity, positive affinity. This is because um, we cannot just reach the gel from this state anymore. Uh, we cannot, since we go from no A into no E, and we cannot go back from E to A, so uh, it cannot reach the gel state anymore, and our edge here is just a balancing. So let's take a look to a star search um, and how it works. So first, it is asked, um, which is actually the similar um, algorithm, but just change the edge here. So edge got three um, children, A, B, and C. And um, we can have a close here and open. Close is just um, the nodes that we visited, and open is um, how many nodes we currently um, are in our comparison. So first of all, we of course um, go to S, since uh, the cost is zero, uh, as S is, is the initial state, so that is zero plus the heuristic number, that is um, eight here, and um, opened, um, right now we go from S and we opened three children of the current node. Um, every time we just open um, the smallest, which is HS plus um, the GS value, we just open the smallest one. So A here, the cost is one and the heuristic value is eight. Um, so actually here we originally um, have the zero plus eight but since we are going to open the uh, three, later I will show that. So we just DQ that. Um, the cost is five, the heuristic is four, uh, cost is eight, and um, the heuristic number is three. So as we can see, actually we have two, a, uh, which is node A and node B, their um, value are nine here. Um, you could say FA or FB value. So here we just, um, choose a random one, which is according to alphabet um, sequence, that is A. So here we first DQ S, and we have A, that is one plus eight, B, five plus four, and C, eight plus three. And since we chose um, A, so we put A to the closed, um, closed array, that is one plus eight here. And A also got three children, um, that is D, E, and G. It's instead of three, it is one plus three, which is four. Uh, four plus infinity, and S to A to E, which is eight plus infinity. And G, the cost is from S to A to G, which is 10 plus zero. So now we have um, other open um, nodes, we first DQ A, and we have four on uh, D, that is four plus infinity, E, A plus infinity, and G, 10 plus infinity. Okay, um, so right now we are check again. So B is the smallest one, as the, the FB value is only nine, so we just do here. Um, that is five plus four, and we just um, see the children of B. B and go one children, that is G. And G here, the cost is from S to B to G, that which is four, five plus four, which is nine, and plus the heuristic number, which is four, uh, which is zero, uh, that is G here. So um, we are first DQ B in our open list and put um, and put G here, another G that is not, and that is nine plus infinity. And again, we're going to um, 
sorry, why why is it zero? Sorry, my bad. Um, and again, we're going to find the smallest value of um, f node value. Um, so here we can see the gale state, which is 9.0, which is the smallest one. So we just DQ this one and put here g 9.0, and we find it's the go node, then bingo. So um, the closed node, which is the node that we visited in sequence, is first from first from S to A to B and to G. And for the open node are the nodes that we visited. So A star search on uh, as you can see it is optimum and it can also reach the go state. However um the A star search is uh, actually really complicated and might run out of your memory and the reason why here is we assume actually all the heuristic number however um, in the real case uh, we have to do a, a algorithm or calculation to calculate on the heuristic value and that is really really difficult since for each different nodes uh, we are going to use that algorithm to calculate the heuristic number and um, later in our um, in our Python code um, tutorial, actually we just like this assume all the just to assign all the heuristic number to the current node. Um, so we just do not do any kind of algorithm to that. And uh, next, I would like to talk briefly about the relative deep learning search uh, that is in a star search method. So let's take a look to that. So the iterative deep learning A star search um, really changes not really much. The only difference you remember for uh, iterative deep learning search, we actually have it. We will assume like um, the end. So um, first we just make it to be zero, then to be one, two, etc., and we just perform the DFS search method. Here the only difference here is um, we. We are not um, assigning the depth, um, the maximum depth, depth um, number anymore. We just have it to be fn. So that is um, the current, um, the heuristic number plus the cost that it reaches the node. So first we um, make it to be um, one, then two, then three, etc. So, for example, in this case, um, we will make it to be eight and we finally we come to our S state then on um, for example 9 if we go to 9 then uh, since A here is 8 plus 1 uh, which is 9 and also for B here uh, 5 plus 4 is also 9 so we have a 9 here sorry um, here is A here is B but C here is a plus 3, that is 11, and it's larger than 9, so we do not um, perform that. So until um, the f n value is 9 here, our first um, path is s to a and to b. And here is just a, uh, you know, DFS search method. Um, and compared to a star search, it is much more complicated, and it can also uh, run out um, the memory, however, it can still reach the go state. Um, so I think this is the brief introduction to um, this lecture, uh, which is the informed search. So next we're going to have a Python um, tutorial, and here I just want to mainly um, talk about a star search. So let's take a look on how to write a code on a star search.